best international student coming from China. My background is very different from a lot of people here. But what encouraged me a lot is the community here in informatics. It's very international and very inclusive. We have a really good community here in Appleton Tower and they are always helping each other out. And you need to find your way to build up your social life so that you um, get out of yourself more and, and meet up with people outside of your classes, for example, through societies. In the year that I was a master's student here, we founded the society only for master's students, so for postgraduate students. And that kind of gave us all a platform to talk to each other and to meet and to actually talk about how much work this one assignment was, or just about like getting to know each other. The biggest challenge from transitioning from student to graduate was probably figuring out um, where and what was next for me because I am an international student so it was a bit of am I staying, am I going. If you're going to be an informatics student you should really expect to struggle. It's a tough degree, it's a really tough course, it's meant to be challenging but you should also expect to find it incredibly rewarding. You have to be very self-motivated to study, so you basically, in school, you always have teachers telling you uh, you must do this exercise for this time, and there's just no opportunity to uh, fall behind on work. You need to be on track, otherwise you risk missing deadlines, so it's important to start early. I would also recommend to collaborate with your friends and work together. I came and I saw you know, the 150, 160 other people, all with the sort of same mindset, the same sort of uh, ideas and the same passions. It was really great to, to you know, come and join and be a part of that uh, journey. The biggest challenge of starting second year for me was that we don't get taught to program a programming language anymore. In first year, we get taught how to do Java, how to do Haskell. In second year, we have to do a coursework in a particular language without being taught it. You just teach yourself a bit more. The biggest challenge, I would say, going to second year is to learn how to work in a team. Uh, there's going to start to be a group assignments where you need to work with your friends. And it's challenging for me because I didn't really have experience in working in a, in a team environment. You can expect to come across a whole variety of super interesting courses. Uh, you can expect to have to work hard, but have fun at the same time. Even if your project, you're getting stuck, you're getting stuck, the project isn't working, there will be a point where you break through, you solve the problem, and it's an amazing feeling. There's certainly a quite big jump in terms of expectations we have of students, but I think that the, the, the nicest thing is getting to choose your courses and doing the things you really love. The biggest challenge starting year three was basically I knew I would be, um, the graph of difficulty would be going like this. I had to spend many hours in the lab just working constantly, but because my friends were there with me helping me out and they were always there. The biggest challenge of starting in year three was probably getting used to how much it actually is focused about yourself and doing your own individual work and getting used to the fact that you have to be very proactive and get up early in the morning and do your work throughout the day and to stay on track um, to actually carry out the work you need to do. You have to wake up yourself. Your mum won't be there to wake you up for your 9 a.m.s. You are living on your own. You're figuring things out on your own. You're doing your washing yourself. You're cooking if you have the time. You have to make that choice to go to lectures, to make sure you get the work done on time, make sure you turn up on time. In university, you're sort of um, put right into the center of it all and you have to deal with all the challenges yourself. Whereas in high school, there was a lot more support um, from the teachers as well as the other staff.